gorgeous people. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be super chill. Can you believe that I am 34 weeks pregnant? It's absolutely insane. I swear I was just telling you guys I was pregnant and we're almost nine months later. Like, just think about that. That's insanity. Anyways, um, if you're new here, hi, my name is Melissa. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy you're here. I'd love for you to subscribe. No pressure at all, of course. I'm just happy you're here and hanging out with me. But anyways, yes, today's video, we are going to be talking about how the third trimester is going, how it's been going. I just wanted to share a couple of things, maybe like a mini haul at the end of some things that I have picked up along the way. I definitely have bought more items since we've talked baby items last. We are here, girl, and I wanna show you exactly what my belly looks like. I will take you to the uh, mirror. I just feel like that would be easier just because so you guys can see baby boy just chilling on my right side. He loves my right side. Let me know down below if any of you moms are pregnant right now or if you remember your last pregnancy if your baby favored one side more than the other. So real right now, me being pregnant because I'm like so breathless, sorry. He's moving so freaking much. He's moving so, so much. And just, it's been painful, his movements have been. And it's just because my stomach is so tight and I swear I'm making the biggest baby in the world. And I know they say like boy babies are bigger to begin with, you know, like they just get bigger that, but you know, you never know. Girl babies are big too. You just, you can never tell with that. Uh, but quick update, I'm still in the same place as you guys can see. Everything is going well. Baby is growing well. Are you just gonna stare at me the whole time? He's wagging his tail. I don't know if you can tell that he's going like this. Okay, lay down. He's gonna be sitting with me while I film this video, but I am officially 34 weeks. That was 34 weeks yesterday. Uh, baby had a doctor's appointment. My belly is measuring at 32, 32, 33. He's right where he should be. I haven't had an ultrasound in a while, which I find so interesting with the twins. I had an ultrasound like all the time, every time I had an appointment, but I guess that's just not how it is when you're having a normal baby. I get to see him March 4th to know how much he weighs and all of that jazz. Uh, no idea how much he weighs at this point. I know that the last time we had an ultrasound and we weighed him, he was in the 94th percentile. So big old baby. <laughs> and yeah, it just makes me happy. He's, I can feel his movements. He's constantly moving. He's a very active baby. So if he weren't to move or something like that, I would know. And as far as how I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty amazing. I'm, I've gained 30 pounds since I've had him, which I feel like is pretty normal. She said it was normal. I didn't want to gain any more than 30 pounds, but if I'm being honest, I don't know if you guys know this, February is like a super busy month for me. Uh, my birthday is on the 18th, the twins is on the 11th, and then the husband's is on the 23rd. So literally back to back, we've been having cake, ice cream, and cake is my weakness, you guys. And if there's cake in the house, I literally end up eating the whole entire cake. Hashtag, can you relate? <laughs> Probably not. I don't know what it is, but I just love it so much. And I've just had such a sweet tooth this pregnancy and I haven't been limiting myself as I should be because you, you're really, you shouldn't be eating as much sugar as I am, you know, while you're pregnant. So I'm trying now to not eat as much sugar and I have an, like a massive headache right now because I haven't had any carbs or anything to cause an insulin response. And dude, my head is just like, ur, 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 ur. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. I'm starting to swell now. I can feel, you know, when you're standing up and you just feel swollen, that's how I'm feeling now. But besides that, honestly, I cannot complain about this pregnancy. It's been a really great pregnancy. I haven't had any morning sickness ever since I hit the second trimester, right? And going into the third, I was really nervous because I did have one time where I went to the emergency room because of heartburn, believe it or not. I had to make myself vomit. There was no way for me to lay down. There was no way of me relieving it. And I, I took Tums, but I didn't know for sure if I could take over-the-counter medicines. I didn't end up doing that. I just went to the uh, emergency room, got an IV, and I felt so much better. But besides that, I cannot even complain, dude. This pregnancy has been amazing um, i'm going i'm going to do a video next where i show you what i put in my hospital bag like my overnight hospital bag and what i put in the baby uh, overnight bag 
I've already packed it, you guys. I'm like on it. I've been washing everything. I've been like in total nesting mode. Uh, as you'll see, I'll show you the things that I've bought already. And just prepping for little man. I've never felt more ready for anything, you know, like just the mindset from when I was in my 20s to having a baby now. I know that I've said this numerous times in my videos. It's just so different, you guys. It's so different. It's exciting. I'm not scared at all. Like literally my blood pressure is on point every time I go. I just, I'm feeling good. <sighs> Besides the weight gain, I am just, oh, I'm hard on myself about it. But, oh, and also there's so many things to update you on in my office. We bought this Ikea couch. If you don't follow me on social media, you absolutely should. I've been on the hunt for a sectional that's, that's modern, that's sleek, that's, multifunctional with storage that's under two thousand dollars and I, I know you're like that's a really great budget but you guys it's almost impossible to find that sectional and i've done so much research wayfair you name the websites i've checked it out but all of them are expensive or they aren't functional or they're not modern enough for me or you know what i'm saying like just trying to find that in between and i know some of y'all are just like me when it comes to that and I have been so curious about Ikea couches, so I bought one. I just bit the bullet and bought one, and Chris and I put it together. Of course, you know I recorded it, and I want to do like a full review because this review doesn't exist on YouTube, and I wish it did. I think this would be so helpful for so many of you, and this is the perfect couch for what I was wanting it for. We have this room, which is the office slash living room slash the room that I'm gonna be in all the time with the baby and we needed new seating. I changed the rug. It's just way better in here. I'm gonna show that to you guys in the next video. But yeah, it's pretty short. This video, I think, watch it be like 20 minutes long already. Pretty short, pregnancy is amazing. If you have any questions about my pregnancy or maybe you're pregnant and you're not in your third trimester yet but you have some questions about it, feel free to ask me or any of my lovely lady friends here on the tube. Seriously, we are the best. All of you guys are the absolute best and we are all about helping each other. So please feel free to leave advice, tips, tricks about being a mama, anything you wanna leave about being pregnant and think that it would help please let us know down below. If you want to know my must have pregnancy items, like everything in one video, it's probably like seven or eight items that I think that would be helpful for you uh, to do. I'll do that in another video. I was gonna do it in this video, but it would just make this video so damn long. So uh, give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below if you wanna see that video. I would totally film that for you, it'd be so easy. That's it for the trimester talk, third trimester talk. 34 weeks. Oh, I also wanted to tell you my birth plan, girl, C-section all the way. I could have him vaginally, but I've already had a C-section with the twins, so I'm just going to go in, schedule, do that. And my actual due date is April 3rd, but March 27th is when I scheduled my C-section. So here, at least in the state of New Mexico, they uh, scheduled the C-section a week prior to your due date. So... I'm not complaining because I'm ready to hold my little baby man. And I just, I think what's gonna happen is when I have him, we're gonna transition, not transition completely out of makeup, but I don't want you guys to just forget about me, you know? So I think I'm gonna be vlogging a lot with the baby and the family. So don't quote me on that. I always say one thing and do another because I'm terrible. But yeah, that is baby news. All right, let's me show you what I bought All for right, him. All right, so we're in that <laughs> office area. This is one of the items I got. It's not plugged in yet, but if you've never seen this thing, oh my gosh, it's amazing. So there's like mixed reviews on this. Some babies love it, some babies don't. And you know, that makes sense. Humans are different and we like different things, but dude, it's seriously amazing. The different mechanics that it does, the movements that it does. It's just, I feel like I. it'll be really, it'll come in handy when it's just me and I need to like, you know, I don't know, write something or put groceries away, whatever the case may be. If you have a four moms, Mamaru, let me know down below your thoughts on it. Um, everyone, just let us know your thoughts. It'll be super helpful, but I'm like really, really excited for this. I can't wait to put it right, in there. And also picked this up. So there were a few choices of these, like there were lots of choices actually. And the reason why I picked this one is because there was a changing table part. And I remember with the twins, I use this all the time. 
this packs up and pull you know it's you know what a pack and play is when he's bigger and can crawl and like get away from me uh we'll remove all this and make it just a normal pack and play and then you can put little diapers here they had another option where you could it was like way bigger you know what i'm saying like you could add way more things but I, this is removable. So this thing here, one second. So I just removed this. This is just like a little convenient sleeper. You can move it around with you if you want to um, move it from room to room. This thing goes up if you want it to, which I thought was convenient. I don't know how often I will use this, but I can find myself, honestly, if I need a shower or something, I can bring this in the shower, not in the shower, but in the bathroom you know, and put him in here and yeah, you get, you get the point. It's removable though. It attaches to this and this is like another crib area. You can just put some lining in there. He can take a nap in here if Chris is in the bedroom and you know, I'm out here watching TV or whatever. He can use that. Sorry guys, I'm so breathless. <laughs> and yeah, I just love the changing pad. Completely comes off if I want it to and it's just really convenient. And I love that it was like black and gray. I thought it was cute. And I got this from Bye Bye Baby. Uh, this is my diaper bag or his overnight bag. Dude, this bag is the freaking cutest. It's like literally fashionista mama slash doesn't look like a diaper bag. It's cute. It goes over the shoulder. I got it from a hat brand. I will be sure to link it down below, but I'm going to do a full video on this and what's inside of it. I just wanted to show it to you. I will show you exactly what's in it. I'll do a full video on what's in that. And that's Chris's shot. You guys, my preparedness. <laughs> these are all swaddle blankets. Dude, these swaddle blankets, what's the brand again? Anna, is it Anna and I? This one, Aiden by Aiden and Anais, A-N-A-I-S. Dude, do not buy them on Amazon or on their website. Go to TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They always, 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 always have them and they're so discounted. Freaking love them and they're that like muslin feeling and they're large so you can really wrap baby. And these are his towels and uh, his washcloths. These are some clean blankets. I need some more blankets. If you, these were gifted to him and I just bought this one from TJ Maxx. If you have any uh, suggestions on like just like a nice fluffy blanket that's, you know, ain't gonna break the bank, let me know. And you guys have already seen that. I didn't show you guys this yet. Uh, I also got a little fanny pack that's from that same hat brand. It's gonna be freaking adorable when he's big and I'm like trying to chase him around and stuff. Just wanted to show you. Mama's got his clothes all washed. This is not gonna be his. This is just what I have at the moment uh, because uh, this is not a nursery. You guys know the whole story. We're moving from here, but I washed everything already. I already showed you these, but a lot of the clothing that I find, I grab, <laughs> look how cute that is. It's freaking adorable. I grab from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It's like my fave. And down here is just pants, but mama full on nesting girl. All right, and disregard my messy house. <laughs> uh, here is a bump date. This is what 34 weeks is looking like for me. And this is what I wanted to show you. Okay, so do you see this portion right here? He's literally all on my right side. Okay, take a look. And then I'm gonna turn this way. Look, it's not as big. It's like, oh, that's a cute little belly. And then I turn this way and it's so, so much bigger. I just think it's so funny that he favors this side. I wonder if it has anything to do with my cyst. Huh, I have a large cyst in there and I wonder if, well, no, I've had twins, two babies in there, so who knows, but yeah. That is what 34 weeks is looking like, girl. I'm feeling amazing, I can't complain. I've had a great pregnancy. Um, my legs pretty much have stayed normal. They are a little uh, thicker than normal, but whatever, you know, I, need the, I needed the weight gain. Most of the weight gain for me has been in my back area. I'm trying not to be hard on myself. I know that I'm gonna be working hard once baby comes and yeah, he's in there. This is what I'm looking like. But yeah, I'm gonna cut this video here. Uh, let me know again if you wanna see what's in my hospital bag. You know, I'm going to uh, get that up for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry for my breathlessness. 34 weeks, girl, it's real, it's coming. He's coming here anytime now. <laughs> but I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Love you.